you got Shaq, you got Charles, you got, I think, Zach Lowe's name, I don't even know. Um, Stephen A., all, all y'all. Better start giving this team some damn respect. The Raptors win the championship, and people started talking about the LA Lakers. That's what happened. It was all about the LA Lakers. It was about AD going to the Lakers two days after, I think, after the championship. That's what happened. Very short lived. You know, we celebrated the Raptors for a very short period of time and then we forgot about them. Well, I didn't. I thought they were a pretty good team and they were a pretty good team this year. Went all the way to the second round with their superstar also getting knocked out in the second round. That's Kawhi, meaning that he played with the Raptors last year. And that's what I want to get into right now. I want to talk about the Clippers playing against the Denver Nuggets. The Nuggets winning, but it's not about the Nuggets. Everything is about the Clippers. Everything is about the Clippers right now. It's about the biggest choke job in the NBA history. That's what they're calling it. At least that's the narrative that's being pushed out there. Yes, it's a political narrative. If you ask me, I'll tell you that. It's not objective. Well, before I really get into that, I want to tell you guys a story. A little while ago, that's a little while ago, um, I met this really wealthy man, you know, I was introduced to this really wealthy man. I got the opportunity to actually sit down with him and talk to him. And while we were talking, you know, he told me about his story and how he made everything happen. And while talking about it, he told me that he's able to afford a lot of great stuff right now. And he was wearing this really nice watch, Patek Philippe. Right. And he took it off and gave it to me. And I was like, yeah, you know, I can get stuff like this. I looked at the watch. It looked really great. It looked really, really great. It was a really nice watch, you know, got the bling bling and all that, you know, just subtle, you know, not the crazy bling bling, but it looked like a really expensive watch. That's what I'm trying to say. And I gave it back to him. Yeah, we kept talking for like a second or two. And then he asked me, so what time is it? And then I was like, huh? what do you mean and they're like yeah what time is it and I'm like uh let me get my phone to check it's like wait a minute i just gave you my watch and i'm like yeah like, yeah you know i froze for a second and he was like yeah you see that's that's how i got here i got here by paying attention to detail and looking at everything looking at the things that people are not looking at you know that's how i got here that's how i became really wealthy and i'm like hmm yeah, I guess so. You know, while I was so busy, so focused on looking at what we were talking about, what everybody was talking about at that particular time, meaning it was the three of us, actually. It wasn't just a one on one thing, me and, you know, this wealthy man. It was three of us sitting down talking. So we were talking about wealth and everything. When he gave me his watch, I was so focused on just that. I wasn't looking at anything else. It's a watch. Basic job is to tell the time. I couldn't even look at that. It's basic function, right? I was too busy looking at the bling bling and everything else. Now this brings me back to what we're talking about right now. We are so focused on the two LA teams. We were, meaning as a whole, I wasn't, but majority of us were so focused on the two LA teams going to the Western Conference Finals. This is from the very beginning of the season. That was a story that the two LA teams would go all the way to the Western Conference Finals just so they could build on their legacy, you know, their GOAT legacy, fighting the original GOAT. Well, let, let's not call them the original GOAT, fighting the ghost. And mind you, this is not just LeBron James. This is for Kawhi Leonard also building on his legacy. You know, the narrative people want to build so much. We want to build those leg legacies so much. We're willing to sacrifice and just be so narrow minded or just just so focused on what we want and not look at everything else while everything else is happening the nuggets were happening all the while the nuggets have been happening and i've been talking about the nuggets from the very beginning of the season i was saying that the nuggets are a really good team and this is what's happening right now also everybody's so focused on the clippers everybody's so focused on the lakers everybody's so focused on the narrative that you know these guys are going to go to the finals and they're going to win like it's guaranteed. They're not looking at the other teams. They will love to see the Celtics play against the Lakers. 
that would be great. It would be really nice. But is that what's really going to happen? Do you think Jimmy Butler and the Heat want that? Do you think they just went to the bubble just so they could create this narrative, this story, or fulfill this story? Do y'all think this is what they want right now? Like this is just gonna happen, right? Are people truly looking at the matchups? Are people truly looking at the game? Or we're so focused on wanting what we want to see. We're looking at these games and just looking at what we want to see and not looking at the bigger picture. Well, I can't even say that in any other way to make it so clearer. But to me, it makes a lot of sense in my head. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying. So when I say the Denver Nuggets are for real, they're gonna give the Lakers fits. And Miami is not gonna give this one easily to the Celtics. I know people wanna see that rival, that rivalry one more time, but it's not gonna be that easy. And I give a lot of props to all the teams right now. And, and I think this has been a great, you know, I was one of those people talking about the Asterix. I'm not even sure if I pronounced that right, but yeah, the Asterix. Right, I was one of those people talking about it that this season, this bubble might not be like that. No, I'll, I'll give it to it. I'll give it to him. This has been great, very competitive, very, very competitive very entertaining enjoyed it the only thing that i haven't enjoyed so much are the refs they're stepping in a little too much and i'm not saying you know they're favoring one team over the other it's just the refs are stepping in a little too much let them play let these guys play too many reviews too much of that i feel like it's just a little too much besides that everything else has been great excellent love it and i'm sure we're gonna have a great finals but do not sleep do not sleep. Do not sleep on the Denver Nuggets. They're not just here to fulfill some narrative, all right? And the heat, all right? Not to say that the Celtics are not that great. Those two teams are almost evenly matched. And you look at the Lakers and the Nuggets, I would say the Nuggets have a slight edge. But then again, people think I'm crazy. I've been saying this for a long period of time and people think I'm crazy. I'm gonna stick to that. I still see it. I've uh, picked the Nuggets to go to the finals a long time ago, and I'm still sticking to it. They're playing against the Lakers. I didn't think the Lakers would make it there. I was wrong. I admitted that. I didn't think they'll make it that far, but they did. And I could be wrong against the Denver Nuggets. I can admit that, but I still do see the Denver Nuggets making it to the finals. Hey, yo, make sure you forget to subscribe. Make sure you do that. And make sure you forget to hit that bell right there so you don't hear from me. Do whatever you want to do, man. Whatever. Whatever, man.